Hey everybody, what's good? What's going on? Happy New Year. Uh, I think this is my first live stream of 2023, so I want to welcome everybody in. Hope everybody had a great holidays. Today's video uh, is pretty cool. Uh, what I want to do is welcome you to my Azure Networking Basics Lab Series kickoff. So I I'm putting together uh, a different group of videos covering different types of Azure networking labs. The whole purpose of the series is we're going to be taking a, a hands-on approach to learning the fundamentals of network uh, of networking within Azure. Uh, as you know, in the past, I've done a lot of other networking videos, started to dive into the, the networking aspects of AWS, wanted to kind of do the same thing with Azure. So the series of videos is going to be great for folks who are either already networking admins or networking engineers and want to learn uh, a bit about the Azure specifics of networking. But also, we're going to make it pretty easy for folks who don't really have much networking background to come in and kind of work through a whole bunch of different things to hopefully build up their skills within that environment. So it's going to be a series of interactive labs. We're going to look at how to create and manage virtual networks, subnets, security controls within that, so like security groups, and then a whole bunch of other key networking components within Azure. So. Uh, Today, we're going to dive a little bit more into the specifics behind that. Also wanted to mention, uh, today we are giving away a Network Plus study guide. Uh, I'm going to do that at the end of the video. But uh, for those who are interested in this, I'm going to be giving away a copy of this. This is uh, a Packet Publishing CompTIA. It's the, the Network Plus guide for the, their latest exam, which I think is the... Uh, was it N10008? This is an awesome book. They actually sent it to me. Uh, I got to dig into it. It's almost 700 pages. It's probably pretty much the most in-depth networking plus book that I've seen out there. So it's it's really really great. And uh, I had a, a giveaway on Twitter. So I'm gonna name the uh, the winner of that at the end of the video. So uh, if you were interested in that, make sure you you stick around uh, and see if you ended up winning. So a little bit more about uh, what we're going to be covering in the labs uh, over the next few months. I've actually already started to, to film these labs. So we're, I'm going to try and put out maybe one to two a week. We'll see how it kind of goes with the rest of my schedule. But kind of breaking it down into a few different areas and groups. We're going to be covering some, some networking basics. So that's going to be like designing, implementing virtual networks or, or VNets, as they call them within Azure. Uh, doing some stuff with uh, domain uh, name server configurations and settings. And then we're going to look at how to connect two different VNets within Azure. So those are kind of some very, very basic networking fundamentals that you want to make sure that you understand within Azure. And then we're going to step it up a little bit and cover some other things. So things like external access, we're going to do some labs covering uh, virtual network gateway. So for instance, if we wanted to connect uh, an IPsec tunnel or remote users into uh, Azure network environment. We're going to be looking at their virtual WAN, and we're also going to be looking at how to configure their Express Route gateway. So Express Route is kind of like the the direct connects in AWS. So if you had a location or a data center and you wanted to have a circuit from your location directly into the Azure environment, then this would be the type of thing that we would do. So we're going to cover some of the ways that we go about configuring and monitoring those. Uh, the next group of stuff we're going to be moving into after that is going to be like applications and availability and scalability from a networking perspective. So there's a, a few different things that we can do there with different types of load balancers. Uh, and they have different load balancers depending upon the type of traffic that you want to do. So if we're just talking about network traffic and kind of like layer four load balancing, they have a few different options like their Azure load balancer and their traffic manager. Once we're looking at web traffic and layer seven types of load balancing, we're going to do some labs involving uh, Azure Application Gateway and then also their front door service, which is kind of like a global uh Kind of gets tied back into DNS, uh, really is. So it's a, a global DNS highly availability service that you can use for load balancing uh, across a whole bunch of things across the globe. So that would be kind of cool. 
And then the last group of labs that we're going to be covering is going to be dealing with like network security. So we're going to look at how to implement their uh, distributed denial of service protection. We're going to be looking at how to deploy Azure firewalls. Uh, we're going to be looking at using uh, virtual network service endpoints to be able to restrict access to uh, some of their different uh, platform as a service resources. I'm trying to think what else we're going to be doing. Uh, private endpoints. And then I think we're going to be doing some stuff with like monitoring um, different types of resources. So I think that will kind of like wrap it up. So having said all that, if you're interested in uh, learning about networking and these different Azure services, I'm going to be throwing these out there. So you want to make sure that you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on, uh, on any of those types of things. If you have any comments, or any types of specific things that you want me to drill down into a little bit more when it comes to uh, Azure and specifically from a networking side of things, then please throw comments in the comment section and I'll try to make sure that we uh, we hit those. And as always, you know, it, try to get as much feedback with these things as I can. So you know, I'm learning stuff, you're learning stuff and it kind of, kind of works pretty well. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things that I want to mention before we jump over to the browser and I kind of give you a little bit of, of a look behind the scenes of what we're going to be doing with it. Uh, the cool thing is, is that all these labs that we're going to be doing are actually from uh, free Microsoft Azure provided training. So I'm going to put the link uh, for which you can go and check this out. These are actually uh, the different lessons that come for Microsoft AZ 700, which is they're designing and implementing Microsoft Azure network solutions. So it's great for that, but even if you aren't going after a specific cert, like let's say you're going after AZ-104 or something like that, where you just kind of need to shore up uh, your networking skills when it comes to uh, configuring things within Azure, then this is going to be great uh, because it is going to be using real world examples uh, to illustrate the, the different concepts that we're covering. And hopefully by the end of going through all these different labs, you'll have a, a much better solid understanding of Azure networking, and then you'll be able to go and start creating and managing your own uh, Azure virtual environments. Yeah, let's see if there's anything else that I wanted to hit up before we hopped over in there. Now, I think the only other thing that I should mention is that in order to do this, you will need um, a little bit of basic knowledge of networking concepts. Uh, like I said, though, I, I'm going to try and make this a, as easy to follow along as possible. So you definitely don't need to be an expert. And then you will need a free uh, Azure account. And I'm actually going to, that's going to be the first place we're going to hop over here in the browser. I'll show you how you can go about doing that. Um, so yeah, I think uh, if nobody has any questions or comments, we can just go ahead and move over into that. Uh, let me just move over into my other browser and we can take a look here. So I put a link for this in the video description. This is where you can go to sign up for a free Azure account. Pretty much same thing if you've ever done any stuff with AWS then uh, similar in a lot of ways, you're going to get a bunch of free stuff for 12 months. Um, then there's other services that they have that are free all the time. And then they start you also with a $200 credit. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the $200 credit is only good for 30 days. Um, I was able to do most of these labs all within that 30 day time period. So it didn't end up costing me anything. Uh, I didn't finish all of the ones that are on, uh, the, their training program. So the last few that I have actually will be will be filming as I do those. But uh, this definitely will get you started in the right direction. Uh, another thing that I highly recommend with this, just like in the AWS environments, is make sure that you set up some type of billing alerts. Uh, so that way, once you get past your $200 credits, and if you do end up providing them uh, with a credit card for them to be able to uh, use to charge for future things, that you at least are aware and have some threshold so you don't end up uh, accidentally leaving some stuff on or turning on some stuff that's too expensive. Again, don't worry about that too much. We're going to hit all the pricing stuff as we go through um, the individual exercises and labs so that you'll have some idea of, of what you're getting yourself into. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea of kind of the free stuff that does come with it outside of the uh, $200 credit, you know, they're going to have a bunch of like Azure uh, free Linux virtual machines. Same thing as AWS with their uh, AWS Linux boxes, the small ones. Um, some free Windows machines, uh, SQL database, 
with kind of a small amount and uh, a lower number of transactions. Some blob storage, which uh, I don't know, I think you can kind of similar to S3 as far as uh, just dropping some stuff in there. Uh, Cosmos DB. And let's see anything else that's kind of interesting. There you get in their app service, uh, which we actually will be creating a few very, very easy apps. You don't need to know anything about actually creating apps. We will walk through that. And the main point of creating those is so that we can end up routing traffic and doing you know the networking portions to make sure end-to-end -end connectivity is there for, for different types of things. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to hit here. Um, yeah, you just need to email and credit card to sign up for this, but they won't charge your credit card until you're to the end of that, the one month, $200 credit. And at that point, you actually have to re-enable the account to actually use a credit card. So you don't need to worry about um, kind of screwing up there and going over. Uh, so into the actual stuff that we're going to be looking at, this is the AZ700 uh, Designing Implementing Microsoft Azure Networking Solutions course. This is awesome. I, I really got to give uh, Microsoft some credit here. They do a really good job uh, with their training content. Uh, it's very comprehensive. The fact that they have labs that go really in depth um, is really, really good. It's broken up into a whole bunch of different modules. And then within each module, it kind of has some, some learning stuff and then kind of hands-on exercises. And then they have like some questions at the end of each module to kind of verify uh, that you understand the topics. If you uh, followed it all when I did the, the Azure Fundamentals, I think that was AZ900, I um, actually went through their version of, of this for, for AZ900 and did like the practice questions with that. And I think that worked out really, really well. Uh, so with this, as I mentioned, there's a few different modules. So we have like introduction to Azure Virtual Networks, and then designing, implementing hybrid network uh, or hybrid networking. So this is going to be stuff dealing with like VPNs, um, point to point, uh, site to site, user based, um, their virtual WAN and WAN hubs. Then uh, Express Route, as I kind of mentioned, was dealing with like circuits and connecting uh, into the Azure environment from your data center. We get into load balancing, both from uh, non-HTTP traffic and HTTP. So this is where we get in the difference between traffic manager and uh, load balancer versus application gateway and front door. And then a few other things in here. I said we start to get into the security aspect of things. So you're talking about the firewalls and distributed denial of service protection service endpoints, private endpoints, and then um, some network monitoring here. So just to kind of give you a little bit of example of what this kind of looks like when we actually do get in here. So when I actually do these lab videos, we're not actually gonna go all the way through each of these uh, learning sections prior to getting the lab. I will bring it up and mention a few summary or high points to kind of just uh, level set on what it is that we're doing and, and some important information, but it's not gonna be like a 30 minute session going through all of the different data in here, just maybe five minutes at most hitting all the stuff and then jumping right into the lab. And then when it comes to the labs, to give you just a little bit of an idea, this is the first one. I've actually already filmed this, so should be dropping this sometime within the next week. Um, they're gonna give us a scenario, give us a background information. They have diagrams, which is great. And then uh, they give us what the different tasks are that we're doing and then step-by-step step through all the different tasks. So uh, I'm gonna be your Azure uh, Networking Lab study buddy. We're just gonna go right through here, follow things, make sure everything works correctly and uh, hopefully get you a little bit more comfortable with the different networking concepts within Azure. And uh, yeah, kind of go from there. So that is it from the course perspective and the individual labs that we are going to be doing. And just to kind of give you a look, once you have your Azure environment up and then you kind of just go in and we're going to be creating resource groups and then a whole bunch of stuff. You can see here that I have already created a few different VNets. Um, VNets are kind of like um, VPCs within AWS. And then within that, we have a whole bunch of different subnets and stuff like that. But 
don't want to spoil too much of that because I want to make sure that you come back and watch the first lab when we go into that. So uh, I think that about covers everything that I wanted to hit on this. If nobody has any questions, um, then I can go ahead and also announce the, uh, the Network Plus book giveaway winner. Um, and that's going to be right over here. That's uh, zero bin underscore cyber. Uh, congratulations. I'll, I'll hit you up on Twitter uh, and get your contact information. And uh, yeah, you're going to get uh, a fat ass Network Plus <laughs> study guide. I mean, seriously, uh, like I said, they sent me a copy of it. That book's like like that thick. I mean, it's 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 pretty awesome. It has great diagrams, pictures, uh, go super, super in depth. Uh, so I think it will help out with uh, your studies and your college courses and all that stuff. So. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, appreciate everybody, uh, checking this out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you, uh, are able to follow along with these labs as they come out. Uh, always smash a like button. Uh, I always appreciate that. Uh, notify, change the notification settings, uh, for when I got new videos coming out and leave me some comments, uh, or any questions related to, uh, any of this. So, uh, if nobody has anything else to say, Nelson Nelson said, thank you for this. Appreciate that. Appreciate you checking it out. Uh, yeah, go get at it. Have a great week. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out because I'm going to be dropping these labs pretty soon. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.